Hey guys! Oh, what is that? I don't have a mark on my forehead. It's currently 3 p.m. in Sydney, Australia. If you watch my vlogs, you'll get a sense that I'm quite extroverted. But I really enjoy being alone. And this... This can happen. This is a thing. This is 100% a thing. I am living proof. And I'm sure there are many other people out there that are extroverted and like being alone as well. It's definitely possible. But it did take me a long time to, I guess, come to this place. So um, let me get straight to the point. This is leftover fried rice that I made yesterday. I heat it up. I was like, I've always been like terrified of being alone. And I don't think I've mentioned this, but I went to a boarding school at the age of five. <coughs> I love being alone. I think the number one thing that's helped me to reach this point is if you just gotta do it, as simple as that sounds, you just kind of gotta do it and get uncomfortable with being uncomfortable. Like I just let myself be uncomfortable, welcome to those late night thoughts, those lonely thoughts into my head, let it scare me, cried a little bit, wrote down why. This first step is like, Literally, get uncomfortable with it. Also, also don't judge me. I'm eating like the randomest stuff right now. It's almost 6 p.m. I'm having some sauerkraut with my fried rice. Yum. Uh, yeah, so I guess it's like getting comfortable with it. Being brave about it. Um, I don't have as much friends that I used to. I have like three best friends and, uh, and we don't even talk that much. I honestly don't go out as much anymore. I honestly don't party or drink or even like getting brunch. It's not that I fear people and it's not that I like self-isolation. I'm actually quite healthy now. I think I've been the healthiest I've ever been since the whole like process of learning how to be alone. I actually really prefer this. It doesn't mess up my energy. I'm more sensitive now to certain people and energy and I know what I like and what I don't like. I, I really, really like it and there's nothing sad about it. I don't know why, um, I don't know why there's this whole culture going on that it's a sad thing being alone and it's a sad thing not having friends. I mean, like, it's very normal. It is incredibly normal. Everything we see in movies and in drama and on TV or even other people's Instagram, like, I don't, I don't know. I think it's slightly fabricated. I mean, if you do, if you're incredibly social and you do have a lot of good friends, that's freaking amazing. Props to you. Like, we normalize having a lot of friends and going out and partying, right? But it's so normal to have not that many friends and being alone with your dog. Also, this is not my dog. I do have dogs, but this is my friend's dog that I'm looking after. But like with your dog, with a pet, and it's not weird. Like who said it was weird? Like I was scrolling through YouTube and looking at a lot of people's videos and props to everyone that's making these YouTube videos. I'm literally clapping for you. They are amazing and it's such a great way to express yourself. But it's, a lot of people are saying, oh, I have no friends, I'm so sad and I'm so weird. But like. You're doing well. You're doing well. You're protecting your energy. You're standing your own ground. You're keeping yourself company. If anyone is out there that's feeling sad about being alone, tip number two, don't. Don't ever feel sad. It's freaking amazing. It's great. Ow. My dessert is literally cornflakes. This is crazy. This is crazy. Yum. Did you see that? It was so good, it took me out. It like took me out of reality for a hot sec. Holy sh**. He's so cute. I love him so much. I love you. Oh my god. I love you so much. Oh my gosh, I love you. 
Uh, it's 6.30. I'm back in bed. Benji and I are looking so cute together. He's so cute. When I see him sometimes, I just want to cry because I cannot believe how cute something could be. Just want to keep touching him. He's doing this on purpose. He's trying to control me. I kind of like low-key crave chicken nuggets right now. Maybe I should go get some chicken nuggets. <gasps> I really want to get like some frozen chicken nuggets and put them in the fryer. Yum. I might go do that. I might go do that, but why am I whispering? Why am I whispering? Can you hear me? Hey guys, I've decided I'm going to go get some nuggets. <coughs> Let's go. I really, really do not wish to be in public right now. It's literally a Friday and, uh, and I'm getting chicken nuggets. Hmm. Hmm. Watch out. I'm having a fantastic Friday night. Dino snacks? Hell yeah. Also, don't ask me why the air fryer is in the laundry. It's a little bit weird, but the PowerPoint in the kitchen, most of them don't work because this is a fairly old house. Don't hate me because you ate me. That doesn't even make sense. That doesn't even make sense. This one's like having sex. This one is literally having, I, I don't want to mention it. Oh, this could be a cool thumbnail. This, this looks so good. It's a, little bit, it's a little hot though. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Mukbang with Way. Okay, stop it. Uh. Waste? Oh my god, that's coconut water. I was like, why the hell does this water taste so weird and like thick and sweet? You need me some normal water. No, my favorite type of food is like. My favorite type of food is like chicken nuggets. Can you guys hear that? Relax. Are you finished? Would you like to speak a little bit more, sir? Man. Right. And chicken wings and a really good steak like a really really good quality steak I will love that okay guys it's almost 9 p.m. I'm going to get ready for bed hope you enjoyed today's vlog and um, if you're also spending Friday Saturday or Sunday night by yourself I'm just letting you know that I miss you I don't know you but like I miss you, obviously. Um, have a great night. Give yourself a little hug for me and uh, see you in tomorrow's vlog. Take care, sweet dreams. Good night, kiss. Bye-bye. <laughs>